Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that these two sets are equal. To do that, we'll use the method of double inclusion. The method of double inclusion says that to show that C is equal to D, where C and D are sets, you have to show two things. Firstly, you have to show that C is contained in D. This means that all of the elements in C are also elements in D. Secondly, you have to show that D is contained in C. So all of the elements in D are also elements of C. So basically you have to show that every element in each set is in the other set. In other words, you're showing they are equal. So proof. So we'll start by showing that every element on the, of the set on the left is also an element of the set on the right. So to do, that, to do that, we start by taking an element in the set on the left. So take any. There's many ways to write this. You can say suppose. You can say take any. Just trying to mix it up. So we have an element x, this means is in, or belongs to the set A union A intersection B. At this point, there's really only one thing you can do, and that's to use the definition of union. So this means, well, what does it mean to be in the union? It means that it's in the first set, so x is in A, or it's in the second set. X is in A intersection B. And the goal is to show that X is in A. So if it's not clear yet that X is in A, what you can do is you can break up the intersection. So let's do that carefully. So this means that I'll write it underneath. X is in A. Or, and I'm going to go ahead and put like a parentheses here. And so you can see that the intersection is being broken up. So x is in the intersection means it's in both. So this means x is in A and x is in B. Okay, at this point, you have to do some serious thinking. So far in this problem, as a recap, we're trying to show that every element in this set here on the left is an element of the set on the right. So we started by taking an element right here, x, in the set on the left. We wrote down what it meant to be in the union. So that gives us an or. And then we're trying to show x is an a. So we thought maybe we can break up the intersection to add a little more clarity. So the intersection became an and, and the or became a union. OK, so now we just have to notice that x is an a. And here is why. So what does it mean to be in the union? Well, an element is in the union. So this statement here is true, OK? If the first condition is true, so if that were the case, x is an a and we're done. It could also mean that the second condition is true. If that's the case, x is definitely an a, so we're done. Or it can mean that both conditions are true. And if that's the case, x is an a, and so we're done. So in any case, x is an a. So this means x is an a. Again, this statement will be true. If the first condition is true, the second condition is true, or both are true. Well, if the first one is true, x is an a, we're done. If the second one is true, well, x is an a, so we're done. And if they're both true, well, x is an a, so we're done. No matter what, we are super done. <laughs> so we took an element here, and we showed it was here. That is precisely what it means for the first set to be a subset of the other. So thus, it's kind of a fun problem. You really have to think. So thus, a union a intersect B is a subset of A. So now we have to go backwards. We have to show that um, if X is in A, X is in that uh, crazy union. So let's go this direction here. So we'll start by saying suppose. I'll, I'll abbreviate suppose just to save some time. X is in A. And the claim is that X is in this set here. So what does it mean to be in this set here? Well, it means that x is in A or x is in the intersection. Well, we're actually allowed to write that down. Watch this. So thus, I'm going to write it down and explain it later. Check it out. Or x is in A intersection B. So this is actually a true statement, right? Um, why? Well, because we have x in A. So remember, the or is going to be true as long as the first condition is true or the second condition is true or if they're both true. So this is true if the first condition is true, the second condition is true, or both are true. Well, the first condition is true, so this entire statement is true. 
So this is precisely what it means for x to be in the union. So thus, x is in the union. So x is in A union, A intersection B. So you have to know uh, what it means for an OR statement to be true, right? So that's the key. So we started with x and A. We showed that it's in this union. So this means A is a subset of A union, A intersection B. So we showed both sets are subsets of each other, therefore they must be equal. So I'm going to use a little therefore symbol and set these bad boys equal to each other. So we've showed the two sets are equal. I hope this uh, proof has made some sense. And again, I think the trickiest part is understanding when this entire statement, let me use a different color here. I'm going to circle it in blue. This whole thing here in blue that I'm circling over and over again is true if the first condition is true, if the second condition is true, or if they're both true. We had x and a. That means the first condition is true. Therefore, the entire statement is true, which is what we wanted, right? Because we wanted it to be in the union. That's why we wrote it down, because we knew that's what we wanted. And we used the fact that this was true to show the entire thing was true. I hope this video has helped you improve your proof writing skills.